everybody. We are back with the final season of Wine Derms. I'm Issa Rae, and I'm here with Insecure's very own, the best showman to ever do it, Aww. Mr. Prentice Penny. Yes. And joining us with a drink in her hand is our day one director and EP, Miss Melina Masukis. Hello. Hi, girl. Hey. Toast. Yes. <laughs> Now, Melina, you directed this episode. Why was it important for us to look back at the College Days episode and start off the final season that way? I mean, I was always curious about like how these women came together and what the foundation of their relationship was. And I think returning to the beginning is always the best way to move forward, especially with them being in such different places in their lives, right? Yeah. And not really being aligned. It's a nice reminder of what drew you to these people to begin with. Now, I thought one thing you did really, really well on the walk and talks through Stanford, I really liked that we got to like linger and stay on them as a like, group together. And just to see them visually in the same frame together a mm -hmm. lot, I thought did a lot of just like remembering like, yes, these are two women who love each other, need each other. Yeah, and, right. and you know, I'm always purposeful with that. Like, oh, at this point, they're really separated. Here they start to connect. So yeah. let's see them together in the frame. Like, I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> uh, and also, like, work through their differences yeah. in real time, you know, on screen. That awkward walk and talk, right? It's just like all that, those weird pauses. And yeah. I remember you pushing me to be like, okay, even more silence. And I'm like, it's a 10 hour episode. <laughs> How do you guys think they ended up coming back from that awkward phase? It's almost like when an athlete breaks their leg playing a sport and they go back and play again and they aren't sure will the knee hold up if I get like hit, right? right. And it's not until you get that first like kind of game action and you're like, oh, okay, I'm good. And I think it's not until the robbery happens that they look at each other and laugh and it goes, we're okay. And they're like, yeah, bitch. Yeah. It's, like, it's like you see they needed that test. It also shows like who you want on your team, yeah. right? Like when I'm like, on the ground, somebody got a gun to me, yeah. like, who I want to have my back, and it's always going to be your best friend. That was something that we discussed, too, just the eggshells of it, because in mending a relationship, it's really hard, whether it's, you know, a romantic relationship or a mm -hmm. friendship. You don't want to get that person mad again, yeah. and so you're yeah. constantly just like, I don't know if this joke is going to go right. too far, and you see that Molly is questioning mm -hmm. that. And to your point, they haven't had a genuine laugh in that yeah. robbery where they're able to just release and, mm -hmm. and clown each other yeah. again, mm -hmm. as we've seen them do for four seasons. Right. Yeah. It's like, okay, we finally have that moment where we're back on track. Also, we see um, Molly resisting a temptation to sort of like jump back into something with an old college flame. How does that show the growth for her character? Everything has to go wrong for her to kind of reevaluate and be like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Right. So we saw last season, she lost this man that yep. she was in love with. She lost her best friend yep. and she doesn't want to make that mistake again. And yeah. we're seeing her yeah. kind of look inward and figure out where she wants to go, who she wants to be. And I think for her, it's a, it's a sign that she just needs to pause and reflect, yeah. but she's very, very scared to move forward. Yeah. And she's yeah. very scared to, get in her own way as we've seen her do yeah. so much. And I think Issa gives her that permission at the end to embrace who she is and who she's yeah. becoming and to move forward. Yeah. Also, one big thing that happens in this episode is... Ugh. is <laughs> I didn't even... Yeah, like, let him get it out. Right. Issa gains some perspective about her uh, and Lawrence, which sort of leads to a breakup. Just take all um, our joy away. <laughs> Who's joy? Why do you guys think she decided to, to America's end joy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Issa realizes it just doesn't make sense for her to be with this man who's going to have this baggage and potentially weigh her down. Why do you guys think it's good to look back while you're trying to move forward? I think, you know, getting back to the spirit of who you really are, I think that's really important to, like, reset as you're changing and growing. I think what's been happening in our country, obviously, in the world, health-wise, in that crisis, you know, we're also used to moving, 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 that we rarely actually take that moment to sort of look back and go, oh, where am I now? What have I done? Yeah. And I think any time that you can, I think those are just good. Yeah, and to learn. Yeah. Learn mm -hmm. from past mistakes. I yeah. always think that it's great to look back and say, well, I did that once and I'll never <laughs> do it again, and I'm gonna be better yeah. from it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on our first wind down of the season. Woo! Nine more to go, and we'll see everybody next time. Yes. yes. Cheers. Cheers.